Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, just kind of finishing up my coffee. And I'm looking over at that uh, rack of mine that has a bunch of stuff on it. And I got a ton of these. Number 10 cans, because I get a lot of, you know, dehydrated foods in them. And I've been wanting to do something with these, so I watched a few videos on the internet and I've decided... Yeah, I'm going to do something with one of these cans.
not too bad. Could look better, but I was more focused on filming than I was actually cracking eggs and frying up bacon and all that kind of stuff. So let's give this a try. As if an egg isn't going to be good. Mm. Of course it is. And it's especially good because it's cooked over a fire. Bacon, pre-cooked, but I still fried it a little bit. So anyhow, let me finish my dinner. And uh, we'll talk about this here rocket stove. Thing on it really did help. It, it brought it up a little bit more and gave it some more airflow. Um, so what needs to happen for this to work better? Once I pulled this out a little bit more, it worked better. This can right here needs to be pulled back some. It doesn't need to go in all that way. Um, you can see that it's it's got some nice uh, embers down in there, but half of it is cut off by this can. Um, and what the idea is, you is you keep feeding it in, and the fire keeps going, and the coals drop down there, um, but there's hardly any in there because I've not left enough room. So uh, the next time I fire this up, I'm going to keep this pulled out. I'm going to bend that tap back a little bit further, and I'm going to pull this can out and until it's just like right here. And I think that that will be wonderful. So kind of a success. Kind of a little bit. Um, it'll be a success the next time I fire it up. Um, I'm used to having taller rocket stoves, so this is just a, a little compact one. You can, after it cools off, of course, you, you, it's portable. Um, I may even try and see if I can make this with two number 10 cans and just an extra, you know, tall can on the inside and just connect it all together. But um, it uses just little tiny twigs. Seriously, I didn't even have to use very many of them. And uh, it produces a lot of heat, so that's good. Anyhow, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.